Hey everybody, I am back. It is Thursday, April 29th, and it's currently 7, 11 p.m. Thank you guys for clicking on my video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so now. And don't forget to like this video. I would really appreciate it. Put down in the comments what apps that you work under and how long you've been doing gig work for, if you do gig work. Well, you know, I'd love to chat with you guys. So, I actually started back up again at six o'clock with an instacart batch i took a 16 dollars and some change batch because it was literally three items um it was an abc alcohol order and the customer was like 0.8 miles from the store so it was literally a 20 minute thing i was in and out and it's done with so that was easy and then i turned on DoorDash, because um, I think Instacart's pretty much done for the night, which is weird because way back in the day, I'd be working till like 11 o'clock at night on Instacart, but that ain't the case anymore. So I was a little nervous to turn DoorDash on because all I've been hearing about is this new app update that everybody is talking about. Um, and I'm not looking forward to it coming my way. It has not hit my area yet, and I really hope it doesn't because I might be done with DoorDash if it does. I don't think it's fair of them to not show us the total amount we're gonna get paid up front. I think that's like very sneaky of them and kind of fraudulent if you ask me because they're basically offering these orders to us on false pretenses and they know whether or not the customer's tipping us. I just don't think it's right. Um, I just don't think it's right. Uh, right now, they're just sending me a whole shit ton of Walmart orders. So anyways, I got um, one DoorDash order. Um, it was for $6 for Wawa. It was literally one point, like three miles, and I just dropped it off, and it had a higher payout. It was $7 instead of $6. Whatever, it's better than nothing. So um, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see if anything's kicking tonight. It took 20 minutes and I got a lot of shit orders and I finally got um, a DoorDash pickup at Little Caesars, which is literally right there. Um, it's $8.75 for like 4.2 miles. So hopefully there'll be a higher payout because there's eight items. So fingers crossed, I'm gonna go get that grub. But um, he's seven minutes away, so we're on our way to go deliver this. So that is all said. It was a hand it to me. Um, it ended up paying out more. It was $11, so I'm good with that. The guy at the door, he acted like he didn't know what was gotten. And when I handed him the drinks, he thought that was all of it. Oh, no, no. You got three two liters and two 20 ounce, so you have more drinks coming. All right, it's 7.49. Let's see what else we can get. I swear to God, they do this to me on purpose. So I literally, it's been at least six minutes and they sent me a Thai Am the first time that was like, I don't know, whatever miles for $5. And they sent me another one, $13.50 for like seven miles. So I'm gonna take it. it sounds all right, I'm gonna take it. And, uh, then, as I'm going to Uber to try to pause it, Uber sends me a double order at the same restaurant to pick up. And I almost took it, but I was like, nah, I ain't doing this again. A restaurant that only allows one person in at a time, so I better hurry up and get in before somebody else jumps. Alright, so Jonathan is 15 minutes away, which isn't so bad because he's actually going to be over in Pinellas Park, which is like US 19. It's a busy strip that has tons of restaurants, so it's my second go-to besides 4th Street, but they're literally on the opposite side of town. Still, not too bad, and who knows? Hey, maybe it'll still have a higher payout. I don't know. We'll find out. I doubt it, but we'll find out. I remembered that in my last video, I was telling you guys about how my Instacart customer supposedly said they received the wrong order. So I figured out why Instacart never put it under um, order issues. Because if one person's order in a three person batch 
was the wrong order, then somebody else got the wrong order too. And I bet you they called the other customer and they were like, no, I got the right order, which would make it impossible for one of them to get the wrong order. So they figured out her fraud. <laughs> I'm kind of pissed off because they sent me a corner shop oh, that I wanted to do. It was like 36 bucks. I'm like, oh, this is a nice way to end my night. But it was like 9.6 miles away from me. And when I put it in the map, it was like over 20 minutes away. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. So we'll see. I, it's it's 8.18. I'm going to stop at 9 or sooner. Who knows? I probably didn't make anything close to what I want to make, but we'll see. Legit sending me nothing but shit like high mileage orders for not worth the pay sucks dude like it really sucks i don't know what's going on and that was another shit order so what's with uber and the quest promotions huh guys anybody notice they're not doing promotions anymore they're not doing any of the like the um you know do this many orders and get this much money it's, they were doing it all the time now they don't do it at all it almost makes it not worth it, but I don't know. I might be ending this tonight right now. I'll let you guys know, but I need to find a bathroom. Right, well, I just got a Chipotle, which is right across the parking lot from where I am. $6 for like 2.3 miles. They tried to add a Chili's, which is right over there to it, but it's like $4.50 for like six miles or something. And eh, I'm all set, but it works out because Chipotle, I can actually go use the bathroom. Earlier today, my daughter and I ordered food from Chipotle, and when I went in to go pick it up, they asked for my ID to pick up the food. I flipped, because I didn't, my daughter was waiting in the car, I didn't have my ID with me. Dude, I flipped the fuck out. I was like, it's not like this alcohol in my order. What do you need my ID for? I placed the order through your app, so it's not like anybody would know my name. Oh, I was so mad, I was so mad. I get why they do it for the third party orders, but not for, through their own app like doesn't make sense the credit card and everything was in my name i said my name i didn't just go to pick it up you know what i mean like i don't know kind of pissed me off but all right let's go get the grub dude they didn't even close the bag i had to staple it up thankfully i have my stapler with me it was like wide open i don't know I don't like my food being exposed like that. I don't know who's delivering it. Like, I know I personally wouldn't do nothing to anybody's food, but you don't know. Something could fall in it or something. <laughs> Close up my food, please. <laughs> so it says we're about four minutes away from Marcus. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the last order or not. Uh, I said I was going till nine. We'll see if they send me something else that's worth taking. Um, there was something I was gonna to say to you guys, but I forget. <laughs> totally forget what it was, so. Oh well, I guess it wasn't important then. Well guys, I'm gonna end my night. I stopped it a little bit early, so I technically worked about two and a half hours um so i did 37.50 with doordash and like 16.89 with instacart um it was like 54 and some change um i did 33.4 miles and it ends up being like 21 dollars and 76 cents an hour and if you add the one hour from this morning it's like 75 dollars for like three and a half hours worth of work. It still adds up to about $21 an hour. I'll take it. Not too bad for three and a half hours worth of work, really. I almost hit a hundred, um, but it's to be expected because I had to stop and get my COVID shot, which my arm's swollen from it. I don't know, can you guys see that? There's like a, see that lump? But um, it's not too bad. I mean, mileage wise, it was like 41 miles for the whole day. I'll take it. But don't forget, right now, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I want everybody to go out there and make that money, honey. I want you guys to stay safe. I want you guys to 
just hustle and set your goals. I would probably stay out because, you know, DoorDash extended my dash to 10 o'clock without me knowing because they said they were busy, but that's a whole nother story. But I would probably stay out, but I have to make sure the kids are in bed because my husband's working the overnight and uh, my mom was babysitting for a couple hours so I could make some extra money. But that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out.